Is it any wonder then that according to the National Archives, the figure on a throne overlooking Pennsylvania Avenue is named Destiny. Could this be a picture of the Masonic Christ? And how might he differ from the Christ of the Bible? But even now, the face of Christ is changing in the world. In New York, at the Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine, we find a mysterious image hovering above the altar where a traditional crucifix would be. There are no nails in his hands and no crown of thorns upon his head. Instead, we find a robed figure belted at the waist with a Zoroastrian looking cap upon his head. Rays of light shining behind him. Could this be the Christ of the New Age? But even now there are those who believe such a figure is about to take his place on the world stage. In 1982, an English painter named Benjamin Krem took out full-page ads in newspapers around the world, declaring the Christ is now here. For more than 20 years now, Krem has traveled the world, telling all nations that the Christ, whom he calls Maitreya, is about to appear. Maitreya is standing by, ready to come into the world at any moment. We caught up with Mr. Krem in August of 2006 as he had just come from speaking to an independent group at the United Nations. He had this to say to America. It's the, the duty of the American people to respond to Maitreya and to accept their destiny. It was on May 14, 1982, that Krem held a press conference to announce that the Christ, Maitreya, was ready to emerge. May 14th was also the date of the rebirth of the nation of Israel in 1948. With all the bloodshed and conflict happening in the Middle East, we asked Krem what he thought it might take to bring peace to the region. I've always said it will take my prayer to, to solve it. Prophecy teachers warn that the current roadmap to peace followed by President Bush is really a roadmap to Armageddon. Meanwhile, Krem says the solution is the universal Christ, which he claims is awaited by all religions. 2,600 years ago, Gautama Buddha made a prophecy it's in one of the sutras. Um, that at this time would come into the world another great teacher, a Buddha like himself, by name Maitreya who by dint of his extraordinary spiritual stature would, would galvanize and inspire humanity to create a brilliant golden civilization based, as he put it, on righteousness and truth. Maitreya is the name of Maitreya Putta. All the, all the religions are awaiting him. The Muslims are awaiting a teacher they call, or a prophet they call the Imam Mahdi. The Hindus are awaiting the return of Krishna or Kalki Apita. Buddhists are awaiting Maitreya Buddha. He is in fact the world teacher for this age, the age of Aquarius, which is beginning now. But how have Krem's teachings been received by Christians who are awaiting the return of Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ teaches very clearly, you know. I said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but through me. If we want to try to bring everything together and say, hey, we all worship the same God, well, then we're going to find ourselves offending the one true God. Many of them believe that what I'm talking about is what they call the Antichrist. Some even think I'm the Antichrist. Many of them think, if I'm not the Antichrist, I'm, I'm the leg man for the Antichrist. 
Krem is very significant to the New Age movement because he's kind of like the John the Baptist of the New Age movement. He, he, even as John the Baptist was the voice crying in the wilderness that the Messiah had come at Jesus' first coming, uh, Krem believes that he's the one who's heralding his second coming. However, it's a New Age Christ. It's not the Jesus Christ of the Bible. And he comes in a, a way that the, the New Age Christ or the Antichrist is portrayed to come, not the way Jesus Christ is coming. You don't know what the Antichrist is. The Antichrist is not a man. It's an energy. It's an energy, destructive energy, deliberately released to break down the old order. It's in Revelations of, of St. John, if you know. The Beast 666, the, name of a man, the number of a man, is the Antichrist, Nero. The Emperor Nero, it was released through the Emperor Nero to bring about the dissolution of the Roman dispensation to prepare the way for Christendom. Oddly enough, Krem's teaching is very similar to a doctrine taught in the Christian community called preterism. Preterism comes from a Latin word that means past. In a nutshell, preterism teaches that the prophecies from the book of Revelation were fulfilled by 70 AD, a teaching many Christians reject. It's really a recipe for apostasy to set up the church for the Antichrist. While many prophecy teachers warn that the coming of an Antichrist is imminent, Benjamin Krem strongly disagrees. It has been, it has gone, it's done its destructive work and made possible for the Christ himself to return to the world. Could Benjamin Krem be right? Were all the prophecies concerning the Antichrist fulfilled in the past? And does the world now stand ready to receive the Masonic Christ of the new Aquarian age? And what can this mean for America? Even now, some believe that America's true destiny is to establish the kingdom of God on earth. Could they be right? Is this the key to understanding the secret architecture of Washington, D.C.? Maitreya himself spoke to me. He said, I myself am coming sooner than anyone thinks possible. And he will face humanity with a choice create justice in the world, and build the most brilliant civilization this earth has ever seen. Or perish utterly. That's the choice.